how much do we really know? When it comes to our history, our planet, and our very own existence, it turns out we know very little. And though that prospect might be on the daunting side, it is incredibly inspiring for researchers who are ready to find the answers to our biggest questions. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three incredible discoveries. Phobos Monolith You may remember news of a mysterious monolith that had been sitting in the Utah desert back for four years in 2020. But did you know that there are dozens, if not hundreds of monoliths scattered across the solar system, and one particular monolith, the Phobos monolith, is 300 feet in height? The Phobos monolith sits on the moon Phobos, which belongs to the rocky desert planet of Mars. But Phobos is not alone, as Mars also has a monolith to its name, appropriately titled the Mars monolith. The Mars monolith is a rectangular object that was identified on Mars's surface. Orbit imagery taken from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter at around 180 miles away shows that the Mars monolith sits at the bottom of a cliff, which scientists believe it likely fell from. While Mars might have its own monolith, the monolith that belongs to the moon Phobos is significant due to its sheer size. According to scientists, the Phobos monolith is much larger than the monolith in Utah that sent the media in a spin. In fact, data suggests that the Phobos monolith is 279 feet in width and 300 feet in height. The Phobos monolith mystery is amplified by the fact that Phobos is completely barren. Whilst Mars has an atmosphere and a weather system, Phobos sits silently in space, with its solitary monolith pointing up towards the heavens. What's more is that Phobos is tiny compared to the grand scale of the universe, making the sight of something so massive atop of a small celestial body even more creepy. The effects of erosion are common for strange discoveries on other planets. Mars itself has been the subject of many strange discoveries, such as the Mars face, the Mars pyramid, and even the levitating spoon. These rock formations are usually a result of our perspective from Earth, as well as millions of years of rock degradation. While interesting to many, Phobos has yet to receive any significant research or space exploration. Optech and the Mars Institute have proposed that the site of the monolith be investigated. This mission is referred to as PRIME, fully known as Phobos Reconnaissance and International Mars Exploration. The proposed mission would see a lander touch down on the surface of the lonely moon to take samples of the moon's geology. Currently, the PRIME mission is not set to go ahead, and talks of funding are next to non-existent. However, famed second man on the moon Buzz Aldrin has previously supported the idea of a mission to Phobos, so there might be a chance in the future. In fact, when Aldrin discussed the idea of sending a mission to Phobos, he said, when people find out about that, they are going to say, who put that there? Who put that there? Something strange happened in the woods of Washington. In 2018, there was a mysterious and unexplained occurrence in the woods of Olympic National Park in Washington State. Both scientists and park officials have been left mystified by this event, leaving us without answers to this day. In the early hours of January 27, 2018, an unexplained force knocked down over 100 trees along the north shore of Lake Keenault. Initially, the presumed reasoning was high winds or a meteorological phenomenon of some kind. After in-depth research into the weather and forecast data, there was nothing of the sort found. The fallen trees were all facing south, and the weather forecasts showed only a light breeze coming from the east that night, making wind an impossible cause. The incident was first reported by the chief scientist of Olympic National Park, Bill Bacchus. Bacchus reached out to meteorologist and weather expert Cliff Mass for his expert opinion on this strange occurrence. Bacchus described the scene as massive old trees broken off at the base and displayed in a semicircle formation. Mass looked through every piece of data on meteorological occurrences for the night before, eventually noticing that the bizarre occurrence was caused by a force strong enough to trigger a localized, systemic event that was being picked up by the sensors nearest to the tree fall. 
The impact of the treefall was so strong that it registered as a small earthquake in the area. Mass could still find no meteorological or weather changes or occurrences at all that could explain this event. There were no drastic temperature changes, meteor activity, and the lightning detection network showed no strikes in the area. The cause was undetermined. Mass even noted in his popular weather blog, the trees fell to the south or southeast, implying an extreme northerly wind. None of the surface locations show strong wind, and most of them are easterly or southeasterly, the wrong direction. There is no strong convection or thunderstorms, so no microbursts. Frustrating, perhaps the Sasquatch or alien visitation explanations should be taken seriously. Although some people still believe it may have been caused by a shifting of warm and cool air creating a rotor effect, others have more supernatural theories, including UFOs, alien activity, and even Bigfoot. To this day, there is no determined cause of this bizarre phenomenon, and the question remains, what happened in the Olympic National Park forest on January 27, 2018? Huge Polynesia Hole Appears in Antarctica Sea Ice Despite being in the dead of Antarctica's sub-zero winter with frozen over oceans, massive holes have been opening up in Antarctica's sea ice and puzzling scientists for decades. Their most recent occurrence was during the 2016 and 2017 winters, but researchers have been aware of them even in the 1970s. Now they finally figured out why and how they exist. These holes are called polyneas, which is Russian and translates to hole in the ice. They are massive, with the smallest one being roughly South Carolina's size, which covers just over 32,000 square miles. To figure out why they were forming, researchers used various creative methods to gather data on the ocean and ice. They placed floats throughout the Southern Ocean with sensors to produce a record of the climate quality and measure its variability during the winter season. Researchers even attached sensors to elephant seals, placing them on their heads to gather data on the ocean underneath the ice. These sensors helped the scientists understand how the ocean water gets mixed up while below the surface, drawing the cold water down and bringing the relatively warmer water to the top. This water that rises is then hot enough to melt the ice. For these giant voids to open up in the ice, many environmental components need to come together at the right time. Surprisingly, the formation of polyneas is not a gradual process. It appears without notice. Suddenly, the ice gives way and a giant hole appears in the middle of the floating ice, despite it being some meters thick. Scientists have also considered the impact that moored rise has on the formation of polyneas. This massive mountain lies under the water near the holes and is large enough to intensify the water's movement, sending warm water to the surface. Despite the mountain's colossal size, proximity and potential influence, researchers note that polyneas do not occur every year. They finally figured out that violent storms play a critical role in the formation of polyneas. The Southern Ocean is a dangerous area during the winter as storms occur nearly every day and with hurricane-force gales. The strong winds attack the ice, blowing through its cracks and constantly rocking it. It agitates the water under the ice, forcing the cold water layer down and pushing the warm and saltier water up. The winds increase the water's movement, causing the ice to melt. Some winters have had the storms and wind occurring closer to the continent than others, pummeling the ice and water so much that polyneas end up forming. Scientists reveal that the amount of heat coming from the rising water is substantial and damaging. When polyneas occur, they release massive amounts of hot air into the atmosphere, which then affects weather patterns worldwide. If a hole is large enough, it can even affect the tropics' rain patterns for a few years. As climate change worsens and the Earth's atmosphere alters, Scientists expect the winter storms around Antarctica to grow even stronger. The strengthening of winds means more polyneas in the ice, potentially making their way towards Antarctica's ice shelves. These shelves hold the glaciers over the ocean. More holes could dramatically increase the threat on the deteriorating ice masses. But what are your thoughts on these discoveries? 
Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.